Hey guys, Perluja here and in this video I want to reply to a few questions which I recently received both on YouTube and also on my Instagram and that is should I learn a UI, should I learn a UX and how they work together and I wanted to share my experience since I've been a UI UX designer for over eight years and worked with over 40 clients from all around the world and basically the way that I usually structure this is in three main stages. So the very first one is going to be all about the design brief. So this is you working with the client in order to understand what is the goal, what is the current pain point, if there is any that you need to solve, and essentially figuring out what the design project needs to have in order to be a success. So this is usually created via a combination of both uh, uh, in-person in meetings, uh, calls, uh, which can be maybe like video calls or audio calls, and emails or messages on platforms like uh, Slack. So once you're over the design brief, uh, which usually is an iterative process, which uh, can uh, actually involve uh, several stages and uh, you're going to go into the UX uh, wireframe stage. Now, what uh, this is all about is essentially in the previous stage, uh, you actually w got ahead and uh, grabbed all of these elements, which is the requirements uh, that uh, you need in order to create that project, which might be a website, a web app, or even a mobile app. And uh, the very next stage is actually figuring out what is the hierarchy of need. So what do you need to uh, take action upon immediately in the project? So let's say that you're tackling maybe a 10 page website. What is going to be the most important page that uh, can yield the most benefit to be tackled right away? Usually it's uh, the home page, but in other cases, maybe this uh, there's variables that uh, create the changes in this decision. And within that single homepage, there might be certain elements which need priority over other ones. So you have to take all that in consideration. So for example, in the homepage, let's say that we have this element, which is essentially showing off the product and the features. Then we have another component, which is going to be the contact us section. Then we have another component, which is going to be the testimonials. Now, as you can see, if we were looking at this uh, uh, homepage, which we're going to have it over here, we can see that there is this hierarchy and the very first one, which is showing off uh, what the product is all about, uh, is going to be the first one. Now, let me bring it to the front. So this is what the product is all about. Then we have the contact us section, which usually it's uh, at the very bottom of the page. And then we're going to have uh, the testimonials which might fit in between. So as you can see, creating this hierarchy of need is going to make uh, the entire project easier to accomplish in a successful way. And uh, usually you you're go just going to create uh, wireframes which uh, you know are quite uh, um, approximated, meaning that you're not going to focus on the visual design quite yet. You just need to focus on things like uh, the, main, uh, uh, the main sections and uh, what uh, is uh, this going to look like uh, from a high level. So this is going to be something which uh, is important to, to consider before you go in and you focus on things like typography, colors and all those uh, elements. And uh, usually you would have uh, the client involved uh, in uh, this decision making. So maybe you hop on a call with them and you show them a few different wireframes ideas. You discuss these elements considering the hierarchy of needs and uh, you basically check if you're in line with uh, what the client is actually looking for since uh, this is going to be key in order to save time. And uh, then you're going to move on to the very last stage, which is one of our the favorite ones for us, uh, and that is uh, the UI design or visual design stage. So basically, you're taking this uh, maybe black and white or non-refined wireframe, and uh, you make it look stunning. You make it look uh, um, very beautiful with uh, and professional, so that they accomplish the client goals. 
and uh, essentially that's going to be the very last stage but if you actually reverse uh, the roles meaning that uh, you do the UI design right away you're going to probably not focus as much on the bigger picture and uh, you're going to waste more time if you hop uh, for example on a client call and uh, maybe you spent uh, so many hours on the UI design but the main structure and strategy is not good so it's a less uh, uh, linear way to actually move so I highly recommend you to do this step by step and of course in UI UX design there's so many other uh, stages and uh, elements and you know I'm kind of painting a simple picture here but there's definitely more uh, elements especially depending on the project and the processes that uh, you're going to implement it to for a specific client so this is from a high level what uh, uh, UI UX uh, how they in interlink with each other and I uh, hope this video was useful if you liked it please leave a uh, like and uh, I also want to remind you that on my channel I have over 400 videos sharing my over eight years of experience in UI UX design. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in learning more about this and I'll see you in the next video.